let's watch this video together and know that it's no longer easy for Nigerians, especially Nigerians living in Nigeria. Watch this video. Omo is no more a blood square Baliamu. Right now, even Kotonu, workers from Kotonu are no more collecting Naira because um, Sefa is now 3,000, a Sefa. Uh, can you imagine that um, 10,000 Sefa is now 25,000 Naira? 10 million Sefa is now 25 million. So they are no more collecting Naira. And as it stands now, to clear a container in Nigeria is 18 million per container. Mm -hmm. And Omezi, with the depreciation in Naira, every commodity on Afia go every 30, 30 minutes. I the mafia yesterday to restock. I went to the market yesterday to restock. 20, uh, a carton of tomatoes was 20,000. In the next 30 minutes, I came to pick the tomatoes. It was 24,000. And the whole line was like, if you cannot pay, leave it. The scary part of all these things, the the way it's going, the way it's going, even the rich and the poor, nobody is safe. People are still selling their old markets. Very soon, their old market will finish. They will not start selling the new market they, they bought with these current, you know, prices. The poor can no longer feed. Hmm? So, your Gabuzi survival of the fittest. Nobody is safe. Please, if you are better placed, if you have opportunity to help, thank God for Aguji Ebuenachina. He called me this morning and said he's going to send something. If you're better placed, please come to the rescue of your own brothers, Nanibo. First, guys, we're going to why. Mali, he gave me. And when you get sent there, trust to you, send there. Kamalunda, get rich. You're going to have a bag of rice. It will go a long way. <laughs> Things are falling apart. Oh. The center can no longer hold. Obero Gogabo, Onyemweta, Nozo, Emenya, Yaya, you're not enough for the well. Hmm? Bikono is a, is a, is a, is a humble call. All right. Konyechi. Now you have watched this video and you saw what this man explained. And this is a businessman. You know, this is a businessman in Nigeria explaining what. Nigerians are passing through in a business angle. He says, he explains what Nigerians are passing through. But I can tell you, it's not easy. You, these big men, these people that call themselves big men, the rich, may think it's easy that they have stacked money somewhere. I'm telling you, a time is coming, if nothing is done, a time is coming, it will affect them. It will affect them. How much is a, a, a liter of fuel now in first station. Go to first station and ask how much a liter is. If you are not driving or you don't buy fuel for a generator, how much is a is gas? One one kg of gas. How much is it now? How much is a rubber of Gary compared to before? How much is a rubber of Gary? How much is nodo nodo that people normally buy before to use to quench hunger? Nodos. Noodles, I don't want to mention names. Noodles, God price. Uh, uh, how much they are selling noodles now? How much is commodity? Everything in the country, how much is dollar now? How much is one dollar? If you convert one dollar to naira, how much is it? It's approaching 2,000, even though they say it's coming down. It's not coming any down. No matter what they're doing, FS is still where it is. How much is general commodities in, in Nigeria? Everything is going up. You see business people also, they go to market, they port. You see him saying that to clear a container, he has spent almost 18 million to clear a container. Now, how do you expect these business people to do, these businessmen and women, these importers to do, when they import goods and custom alone is charging them that amount? Then how much do you expect them to sell their goods to recover only custom clearance, not on, not only on stamp duties and other things, just custom clearance to recover their 18 million pets from one container, and then they will make profits. 
their transportation and everything, they will still make profit to feed their family. So what is going on in Nigeria? That Kotonu is now rejecting Naira. Workers from Kotonu are no more collecting Naira. Nobody, is, nobody wants to accept Naira again because to them, Naira is not, it doesn't want it again. Naira don't want it again. Naira. They told us a time that a Naira was challenging, a, a Naira was challenging a dollar. They told us the story that there was a time in, in this country, a Naira, one Naira was challenging one dollar. A one, one Naira is equivalent to one dollar. But what is happening now? That one dollar, if you change it, it's almost up going to 2,000 Naira. What is happening? The federal government needs to sit up. I don't want to yes, sit they here need to and sit repeal up all my Because stuff. everything is happening to affecting the masses. Majority of people in this country cannot afford two square meal, talk of three square meal. I mean, let me not even go to three square meal. How many of us are eating three square meal or comfortably eating two square meal? Good food, two square meal a day. You know, so this country they need to sit up. Our country needs to sit up. Our our leaders need to sit up. The politicians in this country need to know that they are serving the masses, not themselves, not just to, to enrich themselves. You know, I don't have many things. I want you to go to a comment section and tell me what to think because this country, God will help us. Go to the comment section, drop your comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on subscribe. Click it. See that subscribe below. Click on it. Click subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.